Hi, this is Wilderness Surviving to Thriving. Today we're going to make a spile. Now, what is a spile, you ask? A spile is a thing that you tap into a tree, a maple tree, in order to get maple sap out of, or maple, to make maple syrup. So this is a metal spile. The spile is pretty beat up, but all my other ones are tapped into trees right now. But uh, you can see you tap this end in, it kind of, it's narrow here and gradually goes up. And then it has like a little hook here, as you can see, for the bucket. So that's what a spile is. But we're going to make this out of uh, wood. Uh, the wood I chose to use is the sumac. Not the, poison su not the poisonous kind, but the other kind. This is sumac. So this one here is the little survivor made this one. Uh, he did a great job. He's becoming a great woodsman. So he's, he did an awesome job on that. I did this one. This literally took me... Uh, 30 seconds to make. It's really easy to do um, and I'll explain how to do it. This is another method of doing it is you take a metal rod, you heat it up and as you can see you just kind of stick it in and it burns right through. Um, I'll talk about this. This is just a small piece. You would need a bigger piece in order to have a spile but uh, this is just an example and let me cut right now to, and we'll go to an example and I'll talk about this a little bit afterwards but let me show you how I did this. Okay let's cut to that. Here's the example of uh, burning a, the um, spile. Well, I would recommend using gloves, <laughs> but it goes right through pretty easily. This is not the right kind of metal, but um, you can see it burns right through. So definitely recommend burning using gloves so you get something like that. But uh, that's just an example. Okay, so remember to use gloves when you do it. But the reason I don't recommend doing that way is not because you can get burnt. It's because um, you can see, I'll just do a close-up. If you look inside there, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's all charred. So I was talking to an old-timer at the historical farm the other day, and he said he's tried it this way. And the, the maple syrup came out very, very burnt-tasting because uh, the sap runs right through there and it picks up the charredness. So he said he would never do it this way again. So I would not recommend doing it this way. And that's the reason I did it such a, you know, a small piece because I'll never use this file. So let's just throw that one out. Um, so the way I recommend doing it is carving it. So here, remember I said I did this in 30 seconds. Well, I'm gonna take a little longer this time to do it. But you know, uh, when you sharpen, you wanna sharpen it, um, you know, probably pick you know, it doesn't really matter which way you really do it, but start maybe, just come a little closer, maybe about here or so, you know, have a couple inches toward the end, and you just want to carve it down. Now, as far as carving it goes, don't worry about too much about technique at this part, just get it down. So you want to get it down to, and you see how easily that carves, you know, helps to have a good sharp knife, but, and you want to, you know, get down to the, where the middle, this middle is very soft there, so uh, it'll come out nice and easily. So you, you want to keep on going here a little bit, you know, make it smooth, but that's pretty good. Just notch it a little bit there. And I'm not really worrying about my technique or anything like that as far as this is concerned. On this end, what you want to do is, is you want to take, um, let me just put this knife away. You want, I'm taking a, a tent stick here, as you can see, and I'm just kind of scraping this out like so. And it comes out pretty fast. Just kind of wiggle it around. Make sure it come out. You don't really want to do that against your stomach always carve away from you even with a tent stick but you just kind of clean it out like that and uh, you know I'm just I'm gonna do a better job later and then you just take the st tent stick and you stick it in here like this and you kind of just create the hole and you should probably take some more time and clean this up but for demonstration purposes as you can see it goes all the way up oh, let me just see here do it this way it goes all the way through so you have yourself a hole there. So take some more time and clean that out. And then just the last thing that you should do is get your knife out again. And here I'm gonna use a little bit more technique. I like to, you know, have my knife nice and tight to my body 
and I just move the stick. You just want to carve the end the size of the uh, to the size of the drill bit that you have. You know, a little bit more, a little narrower down here, a little wider at the top, so it can get stuck in there. But for the most part, you know, that's a spile. I mean, you know, it took what a minute to do, but you know, my other one took like literally 30 seconds. But that's all there is to it. Um, yes, you should clean it up a little bit, so take another minute or so to clean it up. And other than that, it goes straight through. I want to try to make a. Uh, sorry about that. The memory went out on me again. Always happens. <laughs> but anyways, uh, what I was saying is I want to make a uh, whistle out of this. Uh, it'd be kind of cool to do. Probably really easy to do also. So I'll try that. And um, you know, just remember, you know, have make sure you have a nice uh, sharp knife. Make sure you always whittle away from yourself. It's very important. Um, and you know, just use the, uh, I call this a tent stick, a tent stake, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> uh, make sure you can use something like that, or you can probably even sharpen up uh, uh, a hardwood uh, stick in order to stick that through if you're in a pinch or if you're in the wilderness. You could probably do that to clean out that portion. It probably will work. So you could do that. But other than that, this is Wilderness Surviving to Thriving. I'll see you next time. Thanks.